Hello and welcome to this uh, introduction to new device management capabilities in iMazing 2.12. I'm Gregorio from DigiDNA and uh, today I'm going to walk you through a couple of uh, pretty amazing features. Um, to demonstrate these new features, I'll be using the Windows version of iMazing, but uh, they are of course available uh, in the Mac version as well. So let's get started. The first very important feature is supervision. Supervision is a way for your business to take ownership of its iPhones, iPads, or iPod Touch devices. Uh, once you supervise a device, all sorts of new configuration features become available. The most sought after probably being a single app mode, which lets you install a point of sales app and lock the device to that point of sales app, for instance. To supervise a device, we just select the target device on the left hand side, scroll down the actions list until we find the supervision button, click supervision. iMazing will display an informative screen. Supervision is a very broad topic. Um, you can click on learn more and you'll be taken to an article on our website, which will you know, dig into the nitty gritty of what supervision is and what it can do for your business. I'll just click on next for now. Um, all you need to do once you've reached the supervision wizard is to choose an organization. This will be the supervision organization. At first, you won't have any. You'll see iMazing's organizations library here, and you can create a new organization by pressing the plus button. Just type the name of your business here, um, my biz, and save. This will create an organization named after your business. You select that organization and click the choose button, and that will configure the supervision wizard to supervise this device with this organization here. I will not cover every supervision option that's available here in this wizard. Uh, for more details, click on the help button here and you'll find an article on our website which details every single option available. I'll click on next and here we have the confirmation step of the wizard which warns me that the device will be fully erased. Now, this is by Apple Design. Supervising devices is really a tool that Apple wants you to deploy only on company devices and not on personal devices. And that's why it's required to erase a device before you can supervise it. I won't supervise it right now. We'll just cancel and select a device that is already supervised. This POS iPod Touch uh, here, when I select it, I see that it has a supervising organization already, and it's named iMazing Organization. Now, once I've selected a supervised device, if I click on the supervision action, I won't see the supervision wizard. I'll see supervised device options. Lots of things can be done on iOS devices which are supervised. Uh, you can clear the passcode, for instance, or clear the screen time passcode. Um, you can also enable single app mode or set wallpapers. This is a very simple setting screen that lets you quickly interact uh, with your supervised device in, uh, in these specific ways. I'll cancel for now and jump to the second big feature. Once you've supervised a device, you can start installing configuration profiles on it, which uh, feature very detailed settings, uh, restrictions, uh, passcode length enforcement policies, all kinds of detailed settings that are only available to supervised devices. I'll scroll down here and select the profiles data set. Now, here are the profiles currently installed on the device. To install a new one, I click on Install from Library and iMazing will display the profile library. I can create a new profile by clicking the plus button. Now, configuration profiles are also a vast topic. Uh, you'll find more documentation on our website. We'll just do a few very simple things now. We'll configure a Wi-Fi payload, so the profile will automatically configure Wi-Fi on the target device. So, my Wi-Fi is the name of the network, and then the password is my Wee. Hopefully you have stronger passwords. This is just an example. Now I'll jump to um, the passcode payload and add here. And I won't allow the simple passcode and I'll force the device to require a passcode in order to function. That's configured, it's done. Then I'll have a look at what other settings are only available on supervised devices. I'll type supervision here. And that shows me 
all settings that are only available on supervised devices. Um, let's put a lock screen message in here. Add property of my business. This is a lock screen message that will always be displayed on your devices when you lock them. That's only available on supervised devices. And then I'll also add some restrictions. I'll disallow the camera and disallow Siri because I don't know, I have something against her these days. Um, and what else is a supervised only? Don't allow erasing the device. Okay, that's enough for now. It's just an example. I'll clear this filter here and jump back to the general section and I'll name my profile. This is a demo profile and I'll call it demo profile 2 because I, I already have one. Um, I'll scroll down. Do I have anything else that I want to set here? Uh, yes, prevent users from removing this profile. This means that the device will be locked into these settings and the user will not be able to remove the profile. Um, okay, that's enough. I'll just save the profile. I get a confirmation that the profile was saved in iMazing's profile library. I can close the editor and I find my demo profile too here. I select it and choose and that installs it to the target device. Of course, you'll be designing one or two profiles that you can repeatedly install on many devices. The designing of the profile phase is where you put in the work. Then applying the profiles is very straightforward. Um, okay, so with these two features, the profile library and supervision, this unlocks a really vast array of uh, device management capabilities that will help you make the most of uh, iOS devices. Our solution, iMazing, lets you, as a small business, manage your devices immediately without much IT knowledge. And uh, even if you are a bigger business, you may have requirements for certain types of devices uh, or certain uh, situations where you do not want a cloud component. You want to manage everything locally. And iMazing can offer that as well. Thank you for following. And uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you have uh, any questions regarding uh, how to make the most of your Apple mobile devices in your business. Thank you very much. And uh, see you soon for another presentation. Bye-bye.